One Violent Night. This occurs at the Sons of Dane compound. When you fast travel here, you'll have the objective to go to the Buck's Den Beer House. That's this barn right here, as you can see by the sign. Let's head inside. Probably a few ghouls hanging around. Jesus, where are you all coming from? It's more than I expected. Anyway, I think we're out of ghouls now. Take a rat away. That's more more radiation clearing than I wanted, to tell you the truth, game. Okay, that's good. Now, so the objective here is to make noise, and like the obvious thing to do is to play instruments, but you don't gotta do that, you know? You don't gotta do that. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna switch from gladiator perks to iron fist. And well, I've got three points left, so I might as well just have the one star gladiator perks on now. But let's grab, if you're a melee player, you can grab one of these, uh, one of these musical instruments and that counts as making noise. But don't worry if you're not a melee player, because all you have to do is run this jukebox and protect it. So this event is soloable. You don't need anybody on the instruments. A lot of times no one will come to this event. A lot of times it'll only be one or two people. Sometimes you'll see a bunch and it I think it tends to bug out when you get a bunch. But if you're here by yourself or just with one or two other people, you're in good shape. You should be able to do the event fine as long as you can kill ghouls. I'm just going to hang out near this jukebox because they're attracted to the jukebox right now because I've got it playing. You can't hear it because I have game music turned off, but they're going to attack the jukebox until they destroy it or I kill them. So it's just a matter of hanging out here and punching ghouls or shooting ghouls if that's your thing, however you like to fight. The reason I switched to my unarmed perks just now is there's an optional objective on this quest right at the end to kill the night stalker with your bare fists and it's like it's actually quite hard to get because almost always if someone else is here they'll shoot it and if anybody shoots the night stalker it doesn't count but since I'm here by myself I should be able to get it by myself so once the night stalker spawns I'm gonna unequip my weapons and just go after him bare fisted I don't actually know um, how much damage I'm going to do to him, so I guess the only question is can I kill him before the timer runs out if I'm doing that? I guess we'll find out. I'm thirsty, apparently. Uh, I'm going to take some fury, too. Not for the ghouls, but as like I was saying, to pump my damage up against the Night Stalker when I go to punch him. You can see the progress bar in the top right corner. It's just going to slowly go up as long as noise is being made. This jukebox is going to get damaged and broken soon, but you can repair it and turn it back on. Yep, it's broken now. So, repair. Chill out, dude. Repair. You guys, I'm just trying to play a jukebox here. Activate. To turn it back on. No one likes my choice in music, apparently. Unmodified Death Tambo is really not a great weapon, but it's doing the job. We're like three quarters of the way done here. Plenty of time left on the clock, and I wasted time before we started explaining what we were doing, so you can see just the jukebox alone is plenty to do this event. 
But if someone does want to be on the instruments, I usually make it my job to defend them. And I'll just post up right next to them and uh, lay into anything that comes after them. Looks like we're going to have about four and a half minutes to kill the Night Stalker with fists. I don't know if that's a lot of time to do it or not so much time to do it. Because I've never actually gotten the op optional on this quest before, or on this event. I do have thorn armor on too, so I'll get bleed damage as well. Might actually do more damage than uh, my fists, my bare fists. I'm going to go ahead and switch over now. Um, what am I using? This thing, death tempo. Now we're bare fisting it. Right away, please. Yeah, this... not doing a whole ton of damage with my bare fists. Is the jukebox up? Nope. Repair. Oops. Repair. There's a little ghoul around here somewhere, isn't there? Activate. Okay, the Night Stalker just spawned. The Night Stalker is a ghoul. A glowing ghoul. Or a glowing wendigo, sorry. Let's go find him and uh, let's punch him. Not a huge amount of damage with my bare fists, but... Okay, seriously, why is my... There it goes. Born Survivor perk. It's been screwing with me today. It won't go off when it should. And I keep dying because of it. You see in the top right now, the optional has showed up now. Optional, defeat the bear, Night Stalker barehanded with no weapons. Really wish my uh, my perks were working correctly. Where'd he go? There he is. He already mutated. He must have. There we go. It took about three minutes to kill him with no weapons. And I got a Nailer as a reward. Nailer is a unique uh, unique weapon. As far as I know, it's the only way to get a legendary cultist uh, blade, is that? Or cultist dagger, one or the other. Nailer, Stimpak right away, and some other stuff. What was that other stuff? Anything good? Savage Divide, Disease Cure? Not really. But the Nailer is a good reward. You might be able to get legendary cultist blades other ways now. You might be able to craft one. Um, but once upon a time, this event was the only way to get it, and it's that named, that named one that I just got. Kind of a rare reward. I don't think a lot of people have seen it. It's not a good weapon. It's just kind of a collectible. And there you have it. That's how you do one violent night.